Hello learners, hope you all are doing well. Today in this session we are going to give one more certification examination which is on Artificial Intelligence Foundation course. We have already covered this course uh, in the previous video where I have um, given all the details. So if you haven't it enroll in this course, you can go through that video and enroll yourself. Now let's jump to uh, examination so we'll have the solutions also so uh, this is the dashboard of your examination you just need to click over this begin and then you need to confirm and after confirm you need to complete these terms and conditions so I will just do one I agree and once you agree you will get this uh, pop-up notification so just for better visibility I am just clicking over click here so it will open in another tab and it will be more visible. Now click on this continue test and your exam is just started. So our first question is which deep learning model is well suited for processing sequential data such as sentences. So for uh, processing sequential data we have RNN, RNN so recurrent neural network. So this is the correct answer I believe. So just next. What is the primary purpose of convolution neural networks? So creating music composition, processing sequential data, detecting patterns in image. So I will go with this detecting pattern in image. As an IT manager for your company, you are responsible for migrating your company's image and video analysis workloads to work cloud infrastructure. Your team is particularly interested in a cloud service that offers advanced computer vision capability including custom model training which OCI service would you consider for this purpose so for this purpose uh, we already know for uh, computer vision capability we have OCI vision so I will select this OCI vision okay and then next how does Oracle cloud infrastructure anomaly detection service contribute to fraud detection so uh, any abnormal pattern in data so this is the correct option I will select this one and next which capability is supported by Oracle cloud infrastructure language service converting text into image detecting object and scenes in the image translating a speech into text analyzing text to extract information like sentiments or entity so all the options are uh, like interconnected but uh, more uh, specific and looks correct is the fourth option so I will go with this one how can Oracle cloud infrastructure document understanding service be applied in the business process so uh, for Oracle cloud infrastructure document understanding service uh, we need to have the first option correct by automating data extraction from document then next which capability is supported by the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Vision Service? So detecting and classifying objects in the image, um, detecting preventing fraud in financial transactions, general generating a realistic image from text, analyzing historical data for, for unusual patterns. So I believe the first option is correct one. What is the primary function of Oracle Cloud Service? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Speech Service Transcribing Spoken Language into the Written Text So what is the primary function? Okay, so I am confused between the first and the second but uh, it looks like the first one is the uh, current one so, so I will go with the first one and uh, next which is an application of generative adversarial network in the context of generative AI so uh, generative adversarial network is responsible for creation of realistic image that resembles training data so this is the correct how is generative AI different from the other AI approaches so this was covered in the course itself so this is the correct option generative AI understand underlying data and creates new example what is the purpose of attention mechanism in transformer architecture 
so basically it weighs the importance of different word within a sequence and understand the context so the first option looks correct i will go with the first option what role do the tokens play in the llm models okay the individual uh, so they are the individual unit into which a piece of text is divided during processing by the model so this looks correct so i will go with the third option what is the difference between large language model and traditional machine learning model llms require leveled output for training llms have limited number of parameter compared to the other uh, llm focus on image recognition llm is fully designed for natural processing and understanding so the correct answer is the fourth or fourth option where llms are specifically designed for natural um, processing and uh, understanding okay so i will select the fourth one and then next how do large language models handle the trade off between the model size and data quality data size and performance so they ensure that the model size training time and data size are balanced for optimization so the first option is the correct one so i will go with the first one okay which ai domain is associated with with task such as recognizing face in image and classifying objects so uh, the correct answer is computer vision uh, i think uh, in the previous question also this was uh, there so i will go with the computer vision so computer vision uh, is one ai service which is um, associated with the task such as recognizing faces in image and classifying objects so i will go with computer vision okay which ai task involves audio generation from text audio generation from text okay so text to speech speech recognition and audio recording and text summarization so i think uh, it's between text to speech and speech recognition what is the correct option so uh, i will go with this text to speech or uh, speech recognition is different uh, here the question is which ai task involves audio generation from text so basically uh, we need to convert text to a speech right so the first option is correct Which AI domain is associated with tasks such as identifying the sentiment of text, translating text between language? So, uh, natural uh, language processing is the correct option. So, I will go with this natural processing uh, option. Okay. What is the primary for primary purpose of reinforcement learning? Okay. so uh, reinforcement learning um, is like uh, driving automatically cars so basically it's a uh, fourth option learning from outcomes uh, learning from outcomes to make decision so this is the correct option okay next which type of machine learning is used to understand the relationship within data and is not focused on making predictions and classification so basically uh, the correct answer is unsupervised learning since uh, it, it is not focused on making predictions and classifications uh, let's say if it if it is focused on making predictions and classification then the correct answer would be supervised learning so i will go with the a uh, third option which is unsupervised learning okay now let's 
move to the next question uh, what is the difference between classification and regression in supervised machine learning so see uh, regression means continuous values and classification means discrete or uh, which means category right so let's uh, go for the uh, continuous value first so I, I can see continuous value is having this option so I believe this is this would be the correct answer for this so let's go with the fourth option uh, let me read all other four options as well so okay so I will go with the fourth option only uh, you are working on a project for uh, healthcare organization that wants to develop a uh, system to predict the severity of patient illness upon admission to a hospital the goal is to classify patient into three categories low risk moderate risk health risk based on their medical history and vital signs which type of supervised learning algorithm is required in this scenario so regression uh, I, I think no clustering is no binary means either or odd we have three so I think uh, we, we should go with multi-class classification because uh, here we will have these um, three different class so I will go with this multi-class um, data okay and then next which type of machine learning is used for already labeled data already labeled data so I already said right in the previous question when we have uh, specified the uh, focus on the results so it would be supervised learning so I will go with this supervised learning then next what is the primary goal of machine learning so see machine learning uh, is something which uh, learns uh, from the previous uh, data so it's enabling computer to learn and improve from experience so the first option is correct one in machine learning what is the term uh, model training means so model training to so perform data analysis on collected and level data analyzing efficiency of trained data uh, establishing a relationship between input feature and output so this is the correct option I will go with this one uh, you are a lead developer of deep learning research team you are tasked with improving the training speed of your deep natural neural networks to accelerate the training process you decide to leverage a specialized hardware which hardware component is commonly used in deep learning to accelerate model training so for uh, deep learning to accelerate model training so you need to use a uh, graphics processing unit so GPU so the correct answer is GPU I will go with the third option click over next what is the advantage of using Oracle Cloud infrastructure super cluster for AI workloads? It offers seamless integration with social media platforms. It delivers exceptional performance and exclusivity for complex AI tasks. So the second option is the correct one. So I will not read the other two. So it delivers exceptional performance and exclusivity for complex AI tasks. So I will go with this one. And then next. Which NVIDIA GPU is offered by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? So this was covered in the course as well. So A100 is the correct answer. I will go with this one. What is the purpose of fine-tuning large language models? So basically uh, fine-tuning is used for a specialized the model capability for a specific task. So the correct option is third one. So I will go with the third one. And then next. How is prompt engineering different from fine tuning in the context of large language models? So, uh, prompt engineering is uh, different from fine tuning, like uh, we seen in the previous question, right? So, fine tuning is something uh, which is spe specialized for the specific task. So, and prompt engineering is something which is uh, based on the predefined prompt. So, we should go with this uh, guide the model response using predefined prompt okay what is in context learning in the realm of large language models modify the behavior of written LLM 
experimentally and providing few examples target tasks via the input prompt. So I believe this second option is the correct one. And this is the last question. So we have 30 questions and we have attempted all the questions. So let's click on the uh, summary first. So we will check uh, is any question got missed. So I believe we have covered all the questions. Now let me click over this submit test. So you have answered 30 out of 30. You can now click submit test to review uh, your answer. Click return to test. Click summary to test. So I will uh, submit test since we have attempted 30 out of 30. Oh wow. So we have got 30 out of 30 questions correct and we com completed this course. Uh, I will get the uh, certification in uh, uh, 24 hours so you all have now the correct solution of this uh, exam so please go through it and before uh, uh, attempting your exam just go through it it will help you because you will have uh, all the correct answer I have also tried to give a uh, brief explanation let me know if you have any doubt in any question in comment section I will just uh, uh, explain to you okay so and if someone is new and want to know the details of the uh, course how to register so in my previous video I have already uh, covered this so let me show you open my channel So you can go with learning plant please subscribe our channel so you will get all the notifications so this was uh, the oracle certification reach uh, where we are covering uh, all the courses here Let me show you so this oracle artificial intelligence foundation certification course you can uh, Come here and in comment section you will get all the required details. So I have explained the key step how to enroll yourself, and um, then you can come up with the solution. So um, I will upload the solution also. And uh, this is Oracle Cloud certification. So anyone interested to have the cloud certification, so this course is for cloud certification. Um, it's free till uh, 30th September so you will get uh, all the question uh, all the question answer so this was the registration video and this was the solution of that course so I will uh, have this course as well let's uh, close this exam let me refresh this it should reflect a hundred percent So this is the dashboard and we should uh, get the acknowledgement. So see, uh, we have already passed this exam, uh, got 100%. So thank you everyone. Uh, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Uh, please subscribe our channel. Thank you everyone.